hello you are welcome how to solve for hex in this nice math problem from what we have here root 10 minus 3 can also be written as root 10 minus 3 multiply by root 10 plus 3 and also divided by root 10 plus 3 that is from here when root 10 plus 3 cancel each other we are still going to be left with root 10 minus 3 now instead of cancelling that we can multiply this directly and from conjugate sort here this same thing as root 10 square applying power square then minus 3 square then which is divided by root 10 plus 3 and from here this square we cancel this square root and this becomes 10 minus 3 square here 3 times 3 which is 9 then we have over root 10 plus 3 and here 10 minus 9 that's 1 so which implies that we have root 10 minus 3 now can be written as 1 over root 10 plus 3 that is here what we have now in this equation we can rewrite it now and this will become 1 over root 10 plus 3 or is to power hex and we have now into bracket root 10 plus 3 raised to power hex plus 1 over root 10 plus 3 or raised to power hex and here 1 raised to power hex is still 1 so here this will be raised to power hex then equals to 38 and when we look at what we have here we have root 10 plus 3 raised to power hex common. Let a letter represent that. So let u be equals to root 10 plus 3 raised to power hex. Then when we write this equation now in terms of u, then this becomes u plus 1 over u equals to 38. And here we can multiply through by u here to clear the fraction. And here this gives us u square, then plus 1 equals to 38 u. And then bringing 38 u to this side to form a quadratic equation, here give us u square minus 38 u now plus 1 now equals to 0 from here. And here we have a here when we compare this with general form of quadratic equation a here is 1 b here is minus 38 and c here is 1 and applying that formula here u will now be equals to minus minus 38 plus or minus square root of minus 38 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 1 then over 2 times 1 and here when we simplify order this gives us u equals to minus times minus as plus that becomes 38 then plus or minus square root of here minus 38 square we give us 1444 then minus here we have 4 over 2 times 1 that's 2 and from here this becomes u equals to 38 plus or minus square root of 1440 now then over 2 and from here we can rewrite it as u equals to 38 plus or minus square root of 144 times 10 then over 2 
and when we separate this square root from here this becomes u equals to 38 plus or minus root 144 multiplied by root 10 10 over 2 and root 144 there that's 12 and we have u now equals to 38 plus or minus 12 root 10 over 2 then from there 2 is common up here and we have u now equals to 2 into bracket what is left here we have 19 then plus or minus 6 here then root 10 over 2 here that is here these two cancel each other then here you give us 19 plus or minus 6 root 10 that is from here we have two possible values of u we have u equals to 19 plus 6 root 10 or we have u equals to 19 minus 6 root 10 and when we recall that u we represented u as 10 plus 3 raised to power hex that means root 10 plus 3 here yeah, that's u which is raised to power hex now equals to 19 plus 6 root 10 here yeah. and also on this side we have root 10 plus 3 raised to power hex equals to 19 minus 6 root 10 on this side as well um, what we have here we can rewrite it from here 19 can be written as 10 plus 9 then we have plus here we write 6 as 2 times 3 then times root 10 and from here as well 10 here can be written as root 10 squared then plus here yeah, 9 can be written as 3 square then plus 2 times 3 times root 10 and from here when we compare this with when we have a square plus b square plus 2ab which can be written as a plus b or squared from what we have here it implies that root 10 here yeah, serving as a and here yeah, 3 here yeah, serving as b then which implies that here yeah, this can be written as root 10 plus 3 squared from here and what we have here is now equals to root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x and when we compare we on both sides we have same base now then we can equate the power here then x from here equals to 2 then also in the same way from here the only difference here is that what we have here is minus now and here this and now be written as root 10 from this line we just change this plus to minus then here become root 10 squared then minus plus 3 square then minus 2 times 3 times root 10 and which also will be written as root 10 minus 3 or square and we should recall that we represented that and that is also written as 1 over root 10 plus 3 squared 
and from here from where we have 1 over a raised to power n this can be written as a raised to power minus n that is here this gives us root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x will that be equals to root 10 plus 3 raised to power minus 2 and also when we compare the this here we have the same thing and the power we equate that and x here equals to minus 2 so we have x equals to minus 2 here and x equals to 2 on this side so therefore x equals to plus or minus 2 and this here we have the solution to the given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step share this video give it a thumbs up also put your comments in the comment section and uh, see you next class bye for now